what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are going to one of my favorite stores in atlanta and we are doing a trade i'm going to be trading a couple of my favorite sneakers right now for a mystery box from this store but this is going to be a unique one because this mystery box will not be like any others that we've done this specific store has tons of insane vintage as well as sneakers and whatnot so i'm excited to see what we can get into now the store is called versus atlanta and i've gotten a lot of good stuff from them and unfortunately i'm going to be trading some of my favorite shoes but i've got a lot of shoes i think it's time for me to do some trades because i want to diversify what i've got now i'm going to be wearing today one of my favorite shoes i actually got from there which is these 2015 jordan 1 unc's beautiful shoe beautifully broken broken in one of my favorite shoes and they gave me a really good deal on it. I'm gonna be wearing these today but this store doesn't do too much like crazy hype stuff it's more along the lines of like they sell what the average consumer is gonna come in and buy not like a five thousand dollar shoe they're selling like Jordan ones that are like 150 to 250 bucks that somebody's gonna walk in and buy that's their big demographic as well as the vintage so I'm gonna I'll, let me show you what I'm be trading first up is going to be the Jordan one pine green as much as I love these I feel like they'd be better off in somebody else's hands because I have so many Jordan ones and I've only worn them once since I've gotten them so that's the only time that I've worn them I'm gonna move on this is gonna be number one number two we're gonna move over here we're getting rid of the Nike off-white dunks in red now you guys know I've had a couple pairs of these frankly I just don't wear them I don't know what it is something about the Nike off-white dunks I just don't wear them I've got so many other dunks so I think these are gonna go going for about four or five hundred dollars we're gonna see if they want these they might not want them but this is they're not going for too crazy so hopefully Hopefully, they want to do some sort of trick. Next up is going to be the Yeezy Boost 380 Mist. Now, this is a shoe that's not going too crazy, but it's cool, it's comfortable, but I've already got another pair of the Aliens that I would probably wear more than these, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if they want these. These are brand new dead stock, size 11, and they're going for a little bit over retail. I think this would be a good one for them. I don't know how much they do Yeezys, but we'll see if they take them. I don't know, they're cool, but I've already got one pair. So besides that, I'm gonna look around. I might end up grabbing some more and then coming, but I feel like that's gonna be a good amount of stuff for them that they wanna trade. But I'm also gonna be trading in some vintage tees. So I've got two tees I'm gonna be doing that are going for a good bit of money. Now this is a Rush vintage t-shirt from 1993, which I originally got from Versus, and I typically do a lot of things where I buy from Versus like vintage and then trade them back in. They know that that's how it goes. This is I think it's like 300 bucks. This is an expensive vintage tee. This has been seen worn by Travis Scott. And I picked it up a few months ago and I thought I'd be able to make it work, but it's a little bit too small. I like my vintage tees super baggy. And unfortunately, it's a little bit small. It is an XL, but it's just not like the XL that I like. So this could be going, this is not like 300 bucks. I think it is. And then the next one is going to be this vintage Grateful Dead tee. This is one I picked up at a local like little thrift pop-up. And this is a cool one. Tie-dye, Grateful Dead, 1996, I believe. 1993 as well, actually. So really cool Grateful Dead tee. And it's in tie-dye. This is like a this is a real sought after piece, I believe. And it's a good size. I think he might want this. This one probably is about a hundred bucks, I would guess. So we probably have around a thousand dollars. But in the vintage world and like the stuff that he has, like the vintage toys and stuff, thousand bucks can get you a long way. We get some cool stuff maybe for the new set for the new place when we move. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead, head to our favorite vintage shop versus ATM. Let's go. Right, guys we just made it over to versus atl we are in east atlanta right now we're here a little bit earlier they're actually opening up an hour early just for us for this video to stay safe because with our state being completely open it's still going to be safe so we're going to be the only ones in the store and they leave the door open all that we're going to break it down to them and show them what we have and then i'm going to leave i don't want to see what inventory they have because i want to keep it you know a secret to what i'm going to be getting so we'll uh check in once they open up the doors we'll do it a few minutes and then uh check in with you guys and i'm going to be i'm going to be walking around i guess all right, guys, we made it over to Versus ATL. Shout out my man, Leo. What's it's up, been a man? minute. I think the last time I was here was December. I think, oh, no, was it before that? Maybe. It might've been like December, know. I think. Something like that. It's been a while since we've been here. I'm excited to be back. Things are opening back up. And uh, this place, I missed it. And I came in here and I saw things and I was like, wow, this is a gold mine. If you guys watched the Last Dance documentary, they've already had this stuff and now everybody wants it. 
you got the Dennis Rodman right there. And they've got, got 85s over here, the breads of Chicago's. You guys, you were ahead of the curve. Now everybody wants it. Oh man, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. But I'm gonna show them some of the things that we got, then I'm gonna head out. Nick's gonna help them help pick something out and uh, it should be a fun one. This is gonna be different than any other box because we've never done like a vintage box like this. So I'm just gonna pull out a few things. I'm bringing back a shirt that you probably expected to come back, the Rush Tee. Yes, sir. I, I wore it like once, it just, you know, can you guess why I didn't wear it? Like I, what always happens? A little bit too small. That's what, for real? Because that I need the big XL, the big one. The, oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah. And then this one, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that one, but this is one that I picked up at a local little uh, little thing. It's actually, you got, you know the guys. Got some uh, pine green ones. No box on those, but they're okay. like four and one. I don't know if you guys do many Yeezys. I know you typically don't we have them. We can't keep Yeezys. Oh, you can't keep, so that's Please why bring us know. Yeezys. We need Yeezys. We need Yeezys. I like these a lot, it's size 10. Okay. Red. I'm gonna let you guys decide, figure out you know, how much you think it is, and then uh, you and Nick can go at it and pick out some pairs. Shirts, some cool stuff. You guys got a bunch of cool stuff here. Camera's gonna go for them two. I'm, I'm gonna go chill in the car, and you guys can use this. Uh, the box. The box. Okay. All right guys, I wanna give a huge shout out to Rejuvenator for sponsoring this video. Now, if you don't know who Rejuvenator is, they basically make the best sneaker cleaning products. So that means if you have a sneaker that has some gunk on it, if you scuff something while you're out, if you step in some ketchup, I don't know, something, they have the products to go ahead and clean your sneakers. Now, my two favorite products are the water and stain repellent right here, and then we have the sneaker cleaning wipes, which these are perfect if you're on the go, take out one of the wipes, wipe off one of your shoes, take off some of the gunk, take off some of the scuffs, and make it like it's perfectly brand new again. Now, they have so many products, they have shields, for the bottom of your shoes, they have sneaker cases. Go ahead and check out Rashuvener.com with the link in the description down below. Check out the wide range of products from anything that you could possibly need for cleaning your sneakers. I use this to clean so many of my different sneakers. You can even see I've cleaned some of my off-white Serenas. I've cleaned so many different ones. I've dirty sneakers up so badly and they've come out to look perfect again afterwards. Look what the sneaker cleaning wipes did just to the top of the sneaker right here. That took me like 30 seconds to do, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you to Rashuvener again for sponsoring this video. And let's go ahead and jump back into this video. All right, y'all, let's find some stuff for the homie, man. What well, should we give him some 85s? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we've looked around the store. Uh, let's take a dive in and see what we have. Some goodies over here, and I'm pretty sure we have some goodies over here. Just follow me. Nice apple tea. Pretty sure my boy is okay, okay. the nice vintage. It's clean. That fit's going to be really good. Oh, yeah. Nice flow. Called the Travis Scott flow. Uh, we have the 1992 Mega Death. Oh yeah, that tea's horn. Yeah. I think we have a good price on it. Sick. One of my favorites here at the shop. I know we have a price that like what? 160. You no, know he's a big fan of purple, so I see what you got going on here over here with the oh, fours. Yeah man, so yeah man, fours have been pretty hot. My boy's a size what? Ten and a half and eleven. A little drip action, you know. Get real fresh. And you know, or maybe you might want to go this way. Okay, some so more purple. We're going, we're going purple, purple game. Yeah, that shirt's clean. That's a good one for the spring, for the summer. Nice colors, real vibrant. I got a bunch of tees in here. Oh yeah, man, nice variety. Ooh, okay. That's the one. Garthy, Garthy. Yes. That fit with the drop shoulder. Oh yeah, real nice. I can see my boy, he likes that. Something like that. We need something for the new spot, bro. I saw that I saw that Dennis Rodman doll when I walked in. It's the one. What y'all think? I think That's he needs that. That Jordan doc, he was wild, man. Oh yeah, he needs this one. He's central. Alright. Let me pick just look over here one more time, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think this is what we're gonna go with today. Alright, so guys, we're doing the fours for the easy. We're gonna do the Rodman toy with the ones. For the off whites, pine greens for a vintage tee, two brand new Supreme tee, three vintage tees for these two. I got the Mega Death, the Apple tee, and like a cool NASCAR tee. And I think uh, that should be the perfect uh, trade. Um, hopefully, Harrison will be excited about his trade. All right, guys, man, it's good to have you guys back. Uh, happy to have you back. Um, we miss you guys. We got a lot of goodies for everyone. Um, keep bringing us your uh, vintage, uh, your streetwear, and your kicks. Um, we're here every day, except Mondays. If you can't reach us, um, you can always catch us online at vsatl.com. 
Peace. All right, guys, so I'm back. The box is ready to go. I'm not looking into it until we get home. How'd you guys do? We killed it, bro. Okay, good. All this looks like you're taking everything, so. Essentials, we ready for you. Uh, I'm excited to see, so we're gonna go home. I'll uh, send him the, well, he's gonna see the video and see how I react to it, so I'm excited to see. But now we're gonna head home, get ready to open this up. We're gonna keep it secure. I'm not gonna look till we get back, so we'll catch you guys when we get back to the house. All right, guys, I wanted to hop in here before we go any farther because if you don't know about the two giveaways we have going on, we have the Ben and Jerry Dunk giveaway that's going on. They're going for like $1,500, $1,600 right now. So go ahead and enter that. That'll be linked down below. And we have a $500 Hypebeast Mystery Box giveaway as well. Big giveaways coming up too, so just stay tuned for that. But I want to tell you guys, we've got two giveaways. Go ahead and enter those. All right, guys, so we made it back from Versus. Again, shout out to Versus. Now, this box is not going to be like a crazy expensive box. I think the total trade was about $1,230. Now, it's a little bit smaller, but I think it's gonna be a lot more unique based off of what their selection is in the store. I think Cameron and Nick can agree to that. Do you think we got some good stuff, Nick? There's definitely some pretty sweet stuff in there. Nick was telling me it's some fire stuff. So, we got a little tape on here. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have. I don't know what to expect. I didn't see their inventory, so let's see what we have. And I I'm seeing some cool stuff already. I see a white sneaker box. I think I see some tees. Let me pull out this white sneaker box first and then move from there. Now, I think, yes. Ooh! I think I know what this means. We have an Air Jordan 4 with a little metallic purple. And I believe this is the Jordan 4 metallics. I really wanted these, actually. I wanted these bad. I didn't know if they had them or not. They look to be dead stock, maybe. One. No, they're dead stock. These are fire. You guys know I'm a Ravens fan and the Ravens are purple and this is like perfect. If I go to game day this year, if they do football, this is a good shoe to wear. And this is actually nice leather quality. So I don't wear fours too much, but I believe these are going, these are 190 retail. I believe they're going for about twos to threes or maybe in the threes right around there. But this is a good pick. This one is already, I'll wear these more probably than the other sneakers that I had that I traded in. So that's good to me. I feel like I'm gonna have a good time with these. That's a good one. So let's go move on to the next one. Good pick. I don't know if you picked that. Yo. Did you guys watch The Last Dance? I know you guys did. Michael Jordan. This is crazy because this is something that he probably had before. We have a Dennis Rodman figurine right here. Check that out. Bad as I wanna be, that's crazy. You guys, if you didn't watch The Last Dance, please go watch it. You will know all the crazy stuff going on with Dennis Rodman. This is a dead stock toy from, when is it? How long ago is this? Yeah, I don't see a date on here. This had to come out in the 90s. That's crazy. It's not an official like Bulls jersey on there, but you can see it says Rodman in the same font and whatnot. That is cool. I really like this. This is something that I think would just be cool to have in the studio. I wanted some more vintage stuff and just to have on the shelf. So you have the interchangeable head. We'll show you some overlay shots, but you got like the day and night version of Rodman while he's playing basketball. And then when he's going out to Vegas for 12 hours to do whatever he did there. So we're gonna go, that's sick. I really like that. It reminds me, I had an in sync bobblehead when I was a kid or like the puppet of uh, Justin Timberlake up for that tour. Pretty cool. So. There's another sneaker, but let me move on to some tees. I feel like there's some tees here. Now let's see what we got. First up, ooh, this is sick. A mega death tee. Dang, this is in really good condition. 1992, look at that. We have the 92 mega death. He wasn't even born yet. The graphics on this are like crisp. And on the back, Symphony of Destruction, that's crazy. I listened to a little Megadeth as a kid. I listened to a little bit of rock and hardcore rock. Not as much Megadeth, but I was more like on the classic rock side. I like Boston and Journey and stuff, but obviously I've heard Megadeth songs and that's pretty cool. I like that. And you got like the top, the bleach. This looks like a reprint, but I know it's not because this is just like a really good quality vintage. That's sick. Dang. I'm telling you, this looks like it's brand new. You got the crystal rain tee on there. Then it's at 160. I wonder how much the Rodman was. Do you know how much it was? 100 bucks. That's crazy. Keep moving with some tees. We have a white tee here and this is a 80 bucks on there. Is that apple tee? Whoa. That's sick. You got the little apple there, the PC personal computer, and then you got the Apple logo on the back. That's sick. I've seen a bunch of Apple tees and I wanted one, but I've never seen them in person. This one is cool. It's just kind of like that retro 90s vibe. I'm sure this is from that era of 90s. No date on it, doesn't look, but that's really cool. Dang. This, see, this is different. This isn't just your average off-white tee. This is vintage stuff. It's pretty cool. Let's keep, ooh. Man, I see the NASCAR tee. Nick got this for himself. Who we got here? We got, oh my. 
These graphics are insane. Rick Rudd. I'm not even that familiar with Rick Rudd. When did he Ricky race? Rudd. Ricky Rudd. When did he race? Me and Nick like to watch NASCAR. Nick watched NASCAR before me. This is a classic tee, and the graphic tees that they used to come out with for NASCAR, crazy. The graphics are nuts. That's nuts. Nick has one just like this, too. Is it a Kevin Harvick one? Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick, yeah. All right, let's get, all right, we'll move to the sneaker now. There's some more tees, but let's move to the sneaker. That's one, two, three, four, five items so far. We have a Jordan 1. Hmm. Do I have these Jordan 1s? No. Or have I had these? Yes. I've had these, okay, and I've gotten rid of them, so I wonder if... Ooh, actually, I've not had these. These are the Court Purples, the newest Court Purples. And again, purple and purple. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't that much of a fan of the original Court Purples because of the colorways and the how they did the black on the toe, but I like this better from the pictures that I've seen. I just have not copped a pair yet. And I don't think they're going too crazy, but another purple that if I'm going to Ravens game, I gotta wear this for my boy Lamar. So these are cool. I'm, I'm, I hope that I will wear these more than I wore the first court purples because I think this colorway is better. The all purple instead of like the black colors all around and then like the pure white. I think this is gonna be good. I'm excited. I, I wanted these and I did not get these prior. We're looking solid. Vintage tees, Jordan 1s and 4s in proper colors, similar colors, that's sick. All right, we got, ooh, we have, a, ooh, we got a little Supreme tee. I keep just saying, ooh, we have a baby blue Supreme tee here. This has gotta be an older one. Size large, kind of like a racing font, the yellow red stripe across. This is probably our goods tee. I wonder what season this is from 100 bucks yeah supreme tees are usually going for 100 bucks but that's gonna be a good summer tee that blue with the blue it's a little bit off but still pulling on that if i had to guess eight years old I'm, I'm not sure i'll have to look it up so let's keep moving and we have let's i'll keep down look some more vintage this is a another supreme tee in gray that's a like a chewbacca graphic that's like crazy <laughs> look at that that's i have no clue what that is do you know nick i just saw that tee for the first time today that's why yeah, that's wild. I've never seen that before. Feels like a newer one, maybe within the last couple years, but never seen that size XL. Seems a little bit big, but we'll see how it goes. That Apple tee is my favorite so far though. And then lastly, this this feels like it might be a banger. What do we have here? Is it, ooh, is this Garth Brooks? This is a thick vintage tee. How long, is, this is from what, 19? This is an old tee. We have an OG Garth Brooks but that is like the perfect fit. I feel like that's gonna be like the perfect wash. Look at that, that's gonna drape so well. This is nice, this is like a thick tee. And that perfect gray wash, or the black faded, that, as much as I'm not like the biggest Garth Brooks fan, I've listened to Garth Brooks before, he's not bad, but I currently don't listen to too much Garth Brooks. All right guys, so there's there's the, the lineup. I think that's a solid trade. I did some stuff that was sitting on my shelf that I haven't been wearing, and we have all of this here. I can't wait to throw this up. Actually, just put this up right now. We're gonna put this, Next to the ones right here, look at that perfect fit. The Dennis Rodman right there. And then we got the ones we're gonna add. These on the end, got the Travis box, put that up there. Let me know what you guys think about that trade down below. We got some good stuff here. I think we're gonna wear a lot of it. If I had to be honest, I'd say the only one I probably wouldn't really wear would be this one just because it seems a little bit big and the color's a little bit bright, but everything else is amazing. And I can't wait to put some of these on, wear stuff like this, cause that white and that purple, there's an orange pair too that I kinda want. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.